determining the center of gravity. When the aircraft is in its level flight attitude, drop a plumb line from the deck boom and make a mark on the hangar floor below the tip of the bob. Draw a chalk line through this point parallel to the longitudinal axis of the aircraft. Then draw lateral lines between the actual weighing points from the main wheels and make a mark along the longitudinal line at the weighing point for the nose wheel or the tail wheel. These lines and marks on the floor allow you to make accurate measurements between the datum and the weighing points to determine their arms. When the airplane is on the scales with the parking brakes off, place chocks around the wheels to keep the airplane from rolling. Subtract the weight of the chocks, called fair weight, from the scale reading to determine the net weight at each weighing point. Multiply each net weight by its arm to determine its moment. Determine the CG by adding the weight and moment of each weighing point to determine the total weight and total moment. The CG is determined by dividing the total moment by the total weight. CG equals total moment divided by total weight. If we substitute it, it will be 65,756 divided by 2006. The answer will be 32.8 inches behind the datum. The airplane has a net weight of 2006 pounds and its CG is 32.8 inches behind the datum. Two ways to express CG location. The location of the CG may be expressed in terms of inches from the datum specified by the aircraft manufacturer or as a percentage of the Mach. The location of the leading edge of the Mach. The leading edge mean aerodynamic part or LEMAC is a specified number of inches from the datum.